Allie was extremely focused. She had uh, kind of planned out her life uh, as much as you know teenagers do. She was um, fun-loving, loved being with her friends and her family. She was so focused and knew exactly what she wanted to do and I had no clue what I wanted to do and I was 16 years older than her. She's just the best friend. She's genuine, she's trustworthy, she gives the best advice. I liked um, playing Tay with her when she didn't have cancer. Allie really embodied what many of our patients go through when they come in clinic. They're faced with a situation where they have an incurable cancer, um, they're looking for treatments, and they're disappointed to find that we don't have the type of treatment that they need. She was cut to the chase type of kid, don't, no, don't sugarcoat things, so she told, asked Dr. Shulman, okay, give it to me straight. And he said to her, weeks without treatment, a year with treatment, that would give you. And then you say that to a 19-year-old girl. Her life got put on hold. So she had to leave school and she moved back here. The toughest part was watching her watch my kids. Because you could see that she kind of knew that she didn't have much time. And it was just hard for her to think that she was going to miss so much of them and she was so afraid that they were going to forget her. She would say, I know what it's like to be the one going through cancer, but I know it's really hard on you guys to watch. She would say things like, Dad, we gotta, we've got to do something so that other families don't have to go through this. You don't really think that at 19 years old someone's going to tell you that your stomach aches are cancer. So I think it, it took a long time to actually settle in, but once it kind of sunk in, I decided that I wanted to stay positive and fight this head on and that this was put in my life for a reason. So now I'm really into doing cancer research charity work and that's going to be my new focus from now on, I think. From the second she was diagnosed, there just wasn't a lot of hope medically for her. And so nobody should have to hear that at any age. And no family should have to feel that helpless. And so I think to her and to us, that would just mean so much that other families don't have to go through it. When it hits home, you realize the urgency that, it, that we have to continue to battle this. You don't know how close you are. You're one diagnosis away of being in my seat. And there's rare, there's rare cancers out there that people are getting and we don't understand. And we need to dig down and, and figure this out because it could happen to anybody. She was a really fun aunt, and, but now, she, now I can't play with her anymore because she's up, in, up here, heaven. <laughs>